Now then, ladies, I finally made it back out. Got a new rucksack. Uh, it's beginning of March, and I finally managed to get back out after the Christmas and all the stresses of home life. It's time to enjoy some fresh air, cool fresh air, shall we say, and uh, take on the challenge that I'd never completed last time. 90 kilometers in two days, I only did one day last time. So today and tomorrow, let's see if we can do it. What a view. Slide for a hill. I've just climbed about 45 meters. 106 metres above sea level. This is like the top, top of the Vale of Beaver. Castles. Castles over there somewhere. On the end of the ridge. Somewhere there's a castle. Press on into Long Corsa. Cheese. Still and cheese. Just come across there. Pass that over there. Pop that over there for the bandit. Jumped over the style. Might not put some people off, but see that next to the hole? Badger shit. That's what that is. You don't want your dog to roll in it. It's nearly as bad as fox. But we're on the edge of a badger boundary. They all have their territory. They always go on the uh, on the outskirts of their territory. Mark the mark the homeland out. Oh, it's drier underfoot than what I was expecting. We had a rainstorm this morning before. I left the house, but I don't think it come here. Oh, boots are still clean. New gaiters, look. Thanks to mother. That was a Christmas present. I thought I'd stick them on today because it's going to be sticky, but we were all right. The beginning of the climb out of here. The climb out of the veil. It looks a bit scary, it's daunting for me. Eh? Past them old buildings, hang a left, to the end of the field, turn right, straight up. I know, I'm pretty sure there's a bench halfway up. So, a cup of tea on the bench, I think. Have a bit of a snack. That porridge was a long time ago at breakfast. I haven't, a long time, but I haven't got a clue what time it is. Half nine. Oh, it's gone tea time at half nine. Lovely. Oh, that's more of a climb than it looks. I've made it up to the tree line. So it's just climb up the last bit. And then we'll be on the flats. Oof, not far from Eastwood Crossroads. And there's a bench up there somewhere. Whew. I don't know how to have a drink in the trees here, but it might be windy at the top. Oh, let's see. Got company. <laughs> there's loads of them, look. Morning. Dog ain't so keen. Get out of the way. But I thought I'd better keep on the lead so they don't start chasing her. They're just following me at a nice steady pace. That one's very playful. There's a big nose. Oh, you want to lick the phone? <laughs> I don't know how much you like to see. I've got my hand behind my back. Well, that one's got no tail. Well, little tail. 
I don't know how much of that you've seen. I've got the camera the wrong way there. Steady on, steady on. I can't remember where I need to be. I'm sure it's over there. Yeah. Right, I'll cost you electric pants. Bye bye, baby daisy. Baby daisies. Easy. That's the village of Eton. And we're on the way to Branston. I'm glad I've not got to go up that one, look. Been there a few years. Richard Yeo's thing. Oh, I've just done the classic. Just done a piece of camera. And I took a photo at the beginning and a photo at the end of it. Oh dear. So I made it up that big hill. I'll show you the picture. It took it out of me, I'll tell you. So we're just coming up to the Waltham Road, so there's a dog on the lead. Or we cross this. Then down to Crescent Cale Park. Luckily, back was along the top. But we're gonna go down and up, we've got to, aren't we? It's, uh, it's a bit windy. I've had to take extreme uh, measures. I've got my snood on my head to keep my ears warm, but I've got to let the heat out because I'm just getting too hot. Hmm, not sure what's going on. Two trinkets. You've got a new sock. Have you got a new sock? Is it a brown one? Is it? Come on then, let's go. She'll be fun in the tent tonight, won't she? The nag's head. Oh, it's tempting. It's two o'clock, they'll be open as well. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. Well, we've lost the cows. And we've got the sheep. Just follow it. Nearly out the field. Look at the clouds. That ain't pretty, is it? The arch. Get the electric over the gate. Ooh, been treated with some nice clink clunk gates. All work properly. As you can see. It started fucking raining. Better we do that one. I'll beep it. Here it is. Been chasing them black clouds over there, or well, they've been chasing me. We want that that clear stuff under right on the horizon. That's coming. So as long as that's here, the tent up and all that malarkey later on. Uh, I've travelled quite a distance since I spoke to you last. Uh, I can't remember all the villages. Definitely Dunbuckminster, and the next one is. Wyming them where the windmill is. I can see the windmill. There's the old windmill. I don't know if it's a calf or a restaurant. There's something at the bottom of that. But not for me. Whew. Clearing me out, this is. No, it's not very warm. I've had some hooly winds. And I nearly put my 
the rain jacket on then to stop the wind. But I braced it, and then we just the rain just started, went from spitting to a bit heavier. So I swapped the fleece and uh, put the jacket on. Only just warm enough though. It's only half a gate. Half a gate over the railway line and turn right. Dog poo in the tree, easy. Oh, it makes me mad. You're going to pick it up, take it home. You're going to hang it in a tree, just leave it on the floor. Bit of a pond down there, look. It's one of them ponds on top of the hill again, isn't it? It's funny how. Right, let's do this village. Hey, I've got a bit of something on the lens, look. Oh, I've just done the big climb from Edmonthorpe up to uh, Market Overton. What a big one. Well, I was going to stop at the pub, but I don't know. If I stop there, it'll be dark when I come out, so I think I feel like I might just carry on. Hope we've got people. Well, the pub's shut. Half past five on a Monday night, and the pub's shut. What's going on? No good, is it? Oh, it's getting late now, and we're still on the move. There's choo choo trains going by. Yeah, so, look at the state of that hair. Proper got the winter bloomage on going on. Okay, I've got on the side. Yeah, so we're gonna. I've got a bit of a road section to do. We'll get this done. And then when we get back in the fields, I'm going to have to find somewhere to pitch the tent. We're pitching it in the dark, which I'm not worried about. Hell. This is the car, come and just watch the dog. Sit. Good girl, you wait there. Yeah, so we better get the, uh, get the state of that muppet. I had my hat on, and I? And my hood up. I can hear some ringing. Hey, oh, I think there's another train coming. The barriers have just dropped down, look. We've probably got another train to wait for. Oh dear me. It says stop. Train coming. Don't know where it's coming from. We've been waiting a while. Haven't we, doggy? Yeah, no train. Where's that train? Oh. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. This ain't no good. Oh, it's starting to get cold now. You know when you stop moving, it don't take long, does it? There's a load of houses there, and I've stood out on the way talking to them. The house is down there. Come on, train. About time of day. Oh, there we go, better put the other light on. Oof. Half past seven, that's bright. I'm in the tent. I'm just about to put the kettle on, have a cup of tea, and that's me done. Yeah. Whew. Um, done 47 kilometres today. So that's good. At least 43 tomorrow. It's 90k round trip, apparently. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, pushed on a little, just shy of 11 hours. I've been on the road. Well, on my feet. So my feet. It's the first time I've had my socks off actually today. I'm normally pretty good at changing socks, but driving my gaiters and everything go all on. I've not bothered so much today. Uh, but no, they're nice. Feel nice to have them out. Um, yeah, so I've got another new toy to test tonight. I've got the Van Gogh uh, Cobra 200. Oh dear, it's gone dark, look. Yeah, Cobra 200, that's what I've got. She only feels thin compared to my last one, but it's so much lighter. It weighs 600 grams, I think it is. Um, and it, it packs up to nothing in comparison to me. It's only a bit bigger than my uh, roll mat, my sleep.
blow up mat thing. Um, but I got that new rucksack. Uh, what is it? Atmos Osprey Atmos 65. And uh, went to put my old rucksack in it. I tried shoving it in in the bottom, and it just wouldn't go down small enough. I tried it in the bag, and I just couldn't get it in. It's a nightmare. So it was only a cheap one off Amazon. So, yeah, I spent a bit more and got myself. But it's more of a summer bag, it goes down to two degrees. And I think it's going to get two degrees tonight. Some people have said it's going to get colder, but I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. I've got a sleeping bag liner with me, but I was going to try it without. So, right, let's get that kettle on. And uh, I'll probably catch you in the morning. Morning? Morning. Four o'clock in the morning. If you can, here's my bag. I took my magic carpet over me last night, mate, so the dog could lie in there as well. But condensated up underneath it, you can just see the balls of condensation on there. Mm. So that was a bit of a mistake because my sleeping bag's a bit damp. I'm glad I put my liner in it. I ended up putting my fresh leggings and fresh socks on last night to keep warm, to be fair. It should, I'll just check the weather, but it should have only got down to two degrees last night. Oh, excuse me. And it's a two degree sleeping bag. So, yeah, only just. I don't think I should use this if it's below five. Mm. Is that what you say? Five degrees? Is that what it is? Hmm? Well, I was asleep by eight o'clock last night. Woke up at Quarter to twelve for a wee. And then I've been asleep till... Mm. Just gone four. So I shall get the kettle on, have a cup of tea, then get crack on and get packed up. Mm. I know, it's a bit damp, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Five to five in the morning. Put the bag of rubbish up. Can't leave anything behind, only footprints. I know, that's all I can see. There's a bit more white light. I'm on an old railway line, a little bit more light. Let's go for spotlight. Yeah, down an old uh, railway line into Langham. We've got a lot of old railway lines around here. It's quite nice when you get on one. You know you're not going up a hill. All right. It looks like a black hole. It looks like something out of a cartoon, doesn't it? It's, uh, it's only ten past five. I'll be going through Langham about half five, I reckon, if not a bit earlier. This won't see anyone, eh? Be nice and quiet. Look at that, just got in the village. Pull my rubbish bag off. Away we go. Huh. Should have perhaps have a quick look at the map. I think I'm going that way. Easy. It wasn't that way. I had to turn right. Look at me, I'm all wrapped up like the Arctic. Oh, it's, uh, I don't know how the temperature is, it's not cold though. I suppose I've got my hat on and that from last night. I had my hat on in bed, so I thought I'd better keep it on. Now it's gone really dark. I flipped cameras. That looks light down there, doesn't it? It's not really, it's only a single street light. We've got to weave my way through Langham. Dogs down there, look, you can just see her in the street like she's loving it. Don't know what she was barking at last night. She was in the tent with me, <coughs> and then she burst out. I hadn't done the, the the door on the inner up, just the the door on the fly, and she just slipped underneath it. She can get out, but she can't get back in. Unlucky. Black. And there's the moon. The moon's giving it large. So the sun will be coming up behind me, that's a shame. 
I'm going to have to keep an eye on it as well. But it looks lovely coming through that willow tree. You can't quite grasp it on the camera. No street lights are just as bright. I hope you can hear that. It's just a monk jack. Mr. Monk Jack. It's a deer, not much bigger than the dog. Nothing to be afraid of, but it can be quite an eerie noise. <laughs> I've got a video up there somewhere and uh, I woke up in the morning, the Monk Jack, oh my goodness. I've never heard him so loud, they couldn't have been far away. That was a lovely spring camp last year, that was. It's a bit warmer than what it was last night. The dog's had a big drink. I might have had a breakfast snack. Let's do it. Now then, I've just walked up from the Vale there, right down in the bottom, all the way up, past the stables up the main road, all the way to the top of the hill where the village is, just to come back down again. What? And then, yeah. I'm still going down, but I've got to go up again in a minute. So instead of coming along the bottom brook line, I've gone over the brook, all the way to the top of the hill, then all the way back down to the brook again. Whew. Yeah, the only problem is, on the way up, the hat and the snoo came off. On the way back down, I had to put them back on again. I'll have to have a look at the, see what um, temperature met check say it is. I wouldn't have thought it was anywhere near freezing, but it ain't warm. That is for sure. The dog's loving it. She's been on the fox this morning. They had a kerfuffle in the hedgerow. And yeah, her and a fox came flying out. Hey, she's had a morning exercise. She loves it. Okay, what I just said about freezing. Just check, Matt, check. And uh, it's one degree apparently. And it's been one degree all morning. And it'll be one degree until about 11. And then about 12, 1 o'clock, we might get to three degrees if we're really lucky. So, yeah, I love these. I used to make them on the farm. Perfect. Mr. Foxy. He was quick, because he was, oh, where were we? He was up there, look, and I spotted him. Where's my finger? Oh, somewhere there, just there. And my dog's still down here, look. So he must have heard us come through that gate, and he's gone. Crafty Mr. Fox has done one. <laughs> planted deciduous woodland. Looks lovely. <sighs> I've just done this once and didn't press a button. You can just see the snow, it's not quite as coming as hard now against the green background. But it is just lightly snowing. See it, look. Snow joke, Jeffers. Hey, dog. Snow joke. The sun's made it out, made the colours look it up. And then there's this bit of a holler. There's an entrance down there. And I think they mined something out here. After the rig and fours were put in the field, because they go straight through the hole. You see them, they come all the way down to the end. Big hole was dug after the rigs and fours. Palace hole. Let's see if we see any more of it. The other side, then trees. Plenty of rabbits down there. Dog's got his nose in. 
after the rabbit. the breeds of the apples or what they are. I haven't got a clue. Very nice though. Very nice. We've got lambs. Very early. Uh, we're in March aren't we? Everyone's doing it later this year because of feed prices. Get them out on the grass quicker. They're good ones look. A good few weeks old they are, I'd say, at least three. Oh, that's a nice ewe and lambs, isn't it? My family's a sheep farmers, hence that thing won't have anything other than a collie dog. They make a brilliant family dog. Ever so good with my girls. My young ladies. And they're ever so good with them sheepers. <coughs> yeah, they're ever so good family dogs. But you've gotta you've gotta work them. You something. You need to, they're too intelligent, you've got to keep them busy. Or else they'll just go nuts, chase the birds around the garden or yeah, pull everything to bits. So we've, I don't know how many collars we've had in my family since I've been alive. Oh, eight, must be, that I can remember. My granddad always wants two, a young and an old one, with the sheep. My mum has them, this is my second. Yeah. I'm walking in the wrong direction now, I'm talking to you. Need to bear left a bit. At least they're not following us like the last lot. It's not warm, but I am, I'm alright. But when you stop, oh, it don't take long to cool off. So I've not actually stopped that much today. Over the Richard Bridge. No, I've been, been moving pretty well to be fair. Uh, that way. Right, we'll do a bit more. I think it's Barsby. Then Gadsby, then Brooksby, and then I can't remember. A lot of bees going off, isn't there? Righto, we'll see you at Barsby. Hup. Hup. <laughs> I didn't think she was going to do both of them. I'm going to have to watch that back. Some skills. I just watched it. I'm stood in the gap. That's what she cleared. The back feet didn't quite do the proper job on that one. Where's a good four foot? Hey, a stunt doggy. Hey, uh, there's a stunt dog. A stunt doggy. I don't know where I'm going. 
over the field. Over the field, far away. I think I've finished with the rolling green fields. Somebody's finished with the poo bags, so I've left them there, look. Next to the rickety bridge. Now that is a good idea. That's an extra long one. I've seen that from miles away coming over the brow. A brilliant idea. Well done, Leicestershire County Council. Into the beans, the bean field. More beans, less rape. That's what we're seeing. Beans seem to be a better rest crop between the wheat. That's the mid shear way. Just crossed over it in the bean field. It's one I've not done yet. I'll get round to it. I think it's a, a start and a stop, but it's not a circle, is it? I like the circles, you ain't got to rely on lifts and that. What's over the hill? We've been Barsby. Cronenborough it is. We're not going all the way to Quenny though. Don't even know where we're going over the field, can't see you. A yellow post. Ah oh dear, never mind. Whew. The sun's out now, look. Still not that warm, but it's uh, it feels nice. I've done Gadsby, not far from Booksby. The problem is, the dog's running on three legs. She keeps getting a limp on her front right paw. I've uh, I've looked and cleaned it and poked and prodded it. I can't find anything in there. She'll be all right for a bit, and then she'll start hobbling. Yep. Double gates. Then she'll start hobbling, and uh, then she'll go with it a little bit, lifting it up in the air. So, as I'm at Booksby, oh, there's another gate over there. Um, I'm not that far from work, so I think I'm going to nip and nick a work truck and take the dog back because I don't want to break her. She's my favourite. Um, yeah, and then I can pop back out another time and uh, finish the walk off. It's only a day trick, <sighs> less than a day's trek back home. Well, Back to Long Clawson where I started, I can do that easy in a day, probably only half a day. So I shall bring the truck back in a couple of days and um, yeah, finish it off. But I'm going to give the dog a day's rest at least and see how she goes because my girls would kill me if I break my dog, wouldn't she? Yeah, they won't be happy. I think they love her more than they love me. She's not in the head though, because that's when she's that front right paw. But I don't want to break her, so yeah. You know what? I might have to call in for a pub lunch on the way back. I've not eaten enough today. I know I've not. So nice big pub lunch, a couple of pints. Get the calories back up. Oh. Well, I managed to be back on the mid sheer way. So I crossed over that in the middle of that bean field. And now I'm back on it as I get to Booksby. So I've got a mate picking me up from Booksby now. Uh, so I've not got a spare truck to ferry about. Um, <coughs> yeah, I've been walking, well, traveling 18 hours, including my little stops. So I did switch it off overnight and that was it. So then 18 hours and then 75k. So not too bad at all. And to be fair, we'd have got to the 90k quite comfortably today because it is only 5 to 12, just in time for a pub lunch. Uh, but the poorly dog, but they're poorly poor. So whew, give us a, a subscribe for the poorly poor. That would be nice. Right. Catch up with you at the